I, I found it very difficult. I won't be watching it again. Mm. I watched it before the press previews uh, with my husband at home, and uh, it was carnage in our house. You know, we, we, had, we got the whiskey out in the end. <laughs> it was like, you know, it's very hard because for me as well, obviously, it's all about saying goodbye to somewhere that I've worked for 16 years and have loved and, and as well as saying goodbye to this wonderful character who I've grown to love, you know, as, a, as part of my own family, really. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it is, it, it is a hard watch, I think. Well, very emotional. Because um, you, you said you wanted to leave, didn't you? And then they found a way because yes. to write you out, as it were. Did you have any kind of say in that at all? No, none know. at all. No, um, I went to the producer at the beginning of last year yeah. and said that I wanted to leave. And I knew that, that she would have to die. I knew that there was no way they were ever going to split Roy and Haley up. Yeah. That would have been a betrayal of everything we've done over 16 years because they're the most steadfast and loyal and conservative with a small C um, yeah. couple in soap. So, so I knew that this was the only way they would ever leave each other. So, yeah. um, But I couldn't have been happier with the way that it's gone, really, because what the storyline's done for awareness around pancreatic cancer has been absolutely phenomenal, you know, and you know it's a cancer that very few people knew much about mm -hmm. at the time. It's got very low survival rates, which hasn't improved in 40 years, and um, we've done a lot to raise the profile of that. Um, so I'm very proud of that. I'm yes, very proud of what we did. And it's taken a long time to develop this this storyline. Yeah. So you raised the profile of pancreatic cancer, but then we come to this issue of Haley taking her own life, deciding yes. if she is terminal that she wants to die now. Yeah. And why was it felt necessary to, to go down that particular well, avenue? Well, I'm not sure why it was felt necessary. It certainly wasn't a, a sensational mm. idea uh, for the storyline, as I don't think. I think it was more to do with tying in the whole of Haley's journey because she came into the show as a transgendered person and, and the storyline was that she'd seen her own friend very confused at the end of her life because of the drugs and was worried that she would in the end lose her sense of her own identity and worried that she, she wouldn't know who she was and she's fought all her life to have this identity as Haley as a woman and she didn't want to lose that at the end so she wanted to stop her life before she got to that stage with the drugs. So that was the idea of it, to make it very uniquely mm. Haley's story. We couldn't have anticipated the furore around it, you know, mm. I mean it has been... It was I mean, on page it, news on two of the yeah, tabloids yeah, last um, Yeah, that was a shocker. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, and obviously I have an opinion about it and mm. I, I love that I've been sort of, you know, um, <laughs> I seem to have been pegged as this kind of like humanist avenger, you know, like trying to, you know, tell the world about uh, assisted dying. It's not an assisted dying storyline. She takes her own life. She makes sure that, that Roy is not involved in it at all. It's very balanced. The, the weeks to come, we see the devastating effects on, on Roy of the, mm. the story about what Haley's decision was. And, um, and I think, I feel it's been done very responsibly and very gently, and it's been seeded for months and months, you know. I'm very upset. I mean, it is, you know, it, it, very upsetting for members of the audience as well, particularly, I imagine, for people who are sort of going through a similar thing as well, yeah. who would feel very strongly about Haley's decision and it perhaps not being, the, not being the right decision. Yes, I absolutely agree. And I've spoken to people, you know, in the, the pancreatic cancer yeah. world. There's a, a lady I speak to regularly who lost her husband to pancreatic cancer. And she, you know, absolutely knows that he he lived to the bitter end. Mm -hmm. he, he he fought to the last second. He wanted to eke every bit out of life. And I understand that. I understand that completely. I also understand that it's not like that for some people. And for me, the argument about the right to, right to die was very much linked in with the, the Tony Nicholson case. You know, I, I can't see that anybody would want somebody to be suffering like he did. And not he was a case of locked in syndrome. Uh, sure, yeah. sure, but what so I, he didn't have the choice that the. Uh, no, he no exactly, and she did. But what I want, I've wanted to say all along with this is that television starts conversations and debates. It adds to it, and I think that's a wonderful thing. And that's all I've ever said mm. on this issue, yeah. really. We certainly started a conversation. And it has, it has, and it's timely, yeah. you know, and it's appropriate, and I yeah. think that's great.